Hello and very good morning to all. Okay, we continue with the second part of group 14. Okay, for the second part, okay, I want to explain about tetra chloride of group 14. Okay, which is we will cover about bonding, molecular shape, volatility, thermal stability, and hydrolysis. Okay, here is the refer to uh, our can book. Okay, so now we can see that this is the table which is the overall uh, short notes of tetra chlorides. Okay, we have the structure here. Okay, boiling point, thermal stability and hydrolysis. Okay, for the first thing, for tetra chloride of group 14 is the structure of tetra chloride. Okay, for the first thing is what you must know is the structure. Okay, now we have example is a carbon okay carbon so carbon is a simple covalent molecule which is the shape is a tetrahedrally shapes and hybridization is sp3 okay now this is the structure okay so we have cl here okay cl here okay cl here and here so this is the carbon tetrachloride and as you know lah, the tetrahedral shape is a uh, 109.5 degree which is tetrahedral shape okay now we go to the boiling point of tetrachloride okay now we go to the next two page which is page 99 in class okay so, okay, what is the important point that you know about tetrachloride? Is tetrachloride is a colorless liquid. Okay, all the face must be liquid. Okay, and then it is a tetrahedral shape. Okay, which is 109.5 degree. Alright, okay, back to boiling point. Okay, what is the definition of boiling point? Okay. Boiling point is a measure the strength of intermolecular forces that hold molecules together in liquid state. Okay, the stronger the forces, the higher the boiling point. Okay, now this is the axis in sketching the boiling point of tetrachloride. Okay, now, okay, let me plot lah. Okay, we have here. CCL4 okay carbon tetrachloride okay and then we have silicon tetrachloride okay and then followed by germanium tetrachloride okay and then tin tetrachloride okay then just connected all the dot okay okay now how about going down the group 14? Okay. Okay, because of the tetrachlorides are the simple molecular structure. Okay, so we must refer the boiling point to its van der Waal forces. Okay, so now when going down the group 14, okay, what we can say that at the size of molecules the size of molecules and the total number of electrons in molecules increasing alright ok so the strength okay the strength of weak van the wall forces increasing okay hence okay the boiling point okay getting increasing when going down the group 14 okay now okay 
you must know that in order to explain about boiling point, you must refer to the weak band wall forces. Okay, now, okay, try refer to the silicon tetrachloride molecule. Okay, now this is a silicon tetrachloride. Okay, so we can see that it's bonded with another tetrachloride. Okay, by weak van der Waal forces. Okay, so when going down the group, we can see that the size getting larger. Okay, for germanium tetrachloride with another germanium tetrachloride. Okay, so what we can see here, okay, so the surface area for germanium tetrachloride higher. So they have greater weak when the wall forces make it more strength. Okay, more stronger. Okay, so now, okay, okay, now 14 tetrachloride with another thin tetrachloride. Alright, which is bonded by weak van der Waal forces, so they have greater weak van der Waal forces because of its larger size, make it stronger than others lah. Okay, so that's why, okay, in order to break the weak van der Waal forces, is the higher boiling point is needed. Alright. Okay, if you can see from the graph, they have no melt boiling point of lead tetrachloride. Okay, why? Okay, because lead tetrachloride does not melt. It does not melt. Does not melt, but it directly decomposes into lead dichloride and chlorine gas. Okay, in 50 degree celsius so that's why we can't measure the boiling point of lead tetrachloride okay okay then okay okay one more thing is why eh? why ccl4 is higher than silicon tetrachloride so this is what we can say that exceptional behavior of CCL for okay because they have no satisfactory explanation table okay now this is the table eh? back to the table okay now okay take a look to the thermal stability okay so according to this table you can see that carbon tetrachloride silicon tetrachloride and germanium tetrachloride are stable okay while 14 tetrachloride is decomposed when heated 250 degree Celsius. Okay, when heated, this thin tetrachloride be decomposed into thin dichloride and chlorine gas. Okay, while for lead tetrachloride, it will decompose easily on slight warming. Okay, okay whereas the lead tetrachloride will decompose into lead dichloride. Okay, and chlorine gas. Okay, back to our graph. Okay, so now, here is the thermal stability. Yeah? When going down the group 14, okay, we refer to the tetrachloride. So now, is carbon tetrachloride, anti-germanium tetrachloride are stable. Okay, so what the most important thing that you must know is in writing the chemical equation so m refer to the group 14 mcl4 in a liquid state okay we decompose into mcl2 which is solid state okay and chlorine gas so this is the most important that you must know okay so now okay because of carbon tetrachloride is a simple covalent structure covalent structure we talk about the thermal stability we must refer to the strength of mcl bond right okay so when going down the group 14 what we can say that 
the length of an CL bond increases okay increases due to the increasing size of group 14 okay this cause okay this cause the n cl1 get weak okay then as a result okay the thermal stability is decreasing okay when that going down the group 14 all right so this is about thermal stability and the another point that we can see that okay for lead okay for lead tetraidine okay so okay this compound okay it does not exist okay does not exist all right okay why because both atom see both atom is a very large size so what we can see here for lead i bond is long okay and extremely weak okay which is is a very unstable very unstable to exist all right this is the okay what is the difference uh, between boiling point and thermal stability okay the keyword okay when the question asks about boiling point you must refer to the weak van der wall forces right the greater the weak van der wall forces the larger the size so the stronger the compound so the higher the boiling point okay while for thermal stability you must refer to the covalent bond bond okay because uh, it will decompose okay to another compound when it break its covalent bond all right okay so for covalent covalent bond you can see example of uh tin cl4 tin cl4 tin cl4 here is a larger size okay okay why let tetrachloride let tetrachloride is a largest size right so for this bow okay we see the bonding eh? so cl 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 okay 14 bonded with cl okay need to try the shape huh? okay because we want to break the covalent bond in order to measure the thermal stability okay so hence when we you see the lead theta chloride that the bond between lead and chlorine is very longer longer bond eh? so make it less stable so that's why lead theta chloride is decomposed easily on slight warming okay because thermal stability refer to covalent bond okay why the boiling point refer to the weak when the wall passes okay so now we back to our table okay for the last part for tetrachloride is hydrolysis which is what we can see from the table carbon tetrachloride cannot be hydrolyzed okay while for silicon tetrachloride until lead tetrachloride it will hydrolyze to form okay mo2 and hcl okay so this is how the chemical reaction silicon tetrachloride which is in liquid state plus water molecule 
it will form silicon dioxide in a solid state plus hydrogen chloride gas. So, this is the short note lah. Okay, now back to our okay, page 99. Okay, so this is the chemical equation involved in hydrolysis of tetrachloride. Okay, so I can give you some example in uh, silicon. Eh? I use silicon tetrachloride. Okay, liquid. Okay, when it hydrolyzed by water liquid. So, it will form uh, SiO2, silicon dioxide solid, plus hydrogen chloride gas. Okay, okay, so the, you correct, eh? you correct the note. So, it, it is a gas state. Eh? Okay, so now you balance the chemical equation which is 2 mole of water and it will release 4 molecule of hydrogen chloride gas. Alright, so, okay. You also must know how to draw, how to draw the molecule. Okay, now here is uh, silicon tetrachloride molecule. Okay, once it will hydrolyze by water, so come two molecule of water molecule near the silicon tetrachloride. Okay, and then what happen is, okay, the water molecule have a two lone pair huh? so one lone pair it will donate its lone pair to the empty orbital in silicon atom all right so it will form two uh, dative bond here all right what happen is now this hydrogen chloride will be bonded together okay one two three Okay, and four here. Okay, so they have four molecule hydrogen chloride gas release. Okay, so now what is the product now? SiO2 right here. Okay, plus four molecule of hydrogen chloride gas. Okay, some notes that you must know here is tetra carbon tetrachloride is cannot be cannot be hydrolyzed cannot be hydrolyzed alright why yeah? why because okay okay cannot be hydrolyzed by water okay since carbon does not have empathy orbital okay in its valence shell okay now take a look the example okay 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 i want to show you okay the electronic configuration of okay silicon first okay so silicon 14 so let's write the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p2 so here is the uh, valence electron of silicon okay so now okay we draw okay the orbital okay 3s okay 3p okay occupied by two electron here and then when we excited it so when we excite it, it will excite it, it will form here. Okay, so now it, this one is 3s, 3p. So now for 3 shell, okay, the shell, it has 3d orbital. So this empty orbital, this empty orbital, okay, we use to form coordinate coordinate bond with water molecules with water molecules yeah right so that's why silicon tetrachloride can be hydrolyzed by water because it has empty orbital here right so now we see the carbon okay carbon atom okay so 6 and also 1s2 
to S2 to P2. So, you know that, okay, the valence electron, we have to S here. Okay, we have to P here. So, now, okay, after excited, we can see that it will excited to the higher energy level. So, here. So, the maximum bond can be formed by CCL4 is... Four only. Okay, so we can see that they have no empathy or beetle. No empathy or beetle. Okay, in second shell. Alright. 